Lorenz Uy and I'm a visual artist primarily working with different media from painting to photography, sculpture, and video. My recent interest and artistic practice have been leaning towards speculations within technology, society, and beliefs, reflecting on the paradoxes that come with them. My recent solo exhibition, I Am That I Am, was held last February to March 2021 at Underground Gallery, located in Mahati City in Metro Manila. The exhibition I Am That I Am started with my recent interest in how man has made modern communications technology become integrated with daily life, making it a necessity and also inseparable from living in today's society. The title is based on the phrase said by God in the Holy Bible when God was asked by Moses who he was speaking with. I Am That I Am builds its lore on the intersection of God, man, and technology, how these three have become blurred and intertwined as the pandemic has hastened its manifestation onto reality. At the center of the exhibition lies a video sculpture titled The Nameless. The sculpture contains a holographic LED fan and is housed in a data or server cabinet. The image that's projected within the cabinet is a computer-generated ring of fire with a pulsating void at its center. The void seen within the fire is an audio vis visualization of a reading taken from Exodus chapter 3. Uh, it's also known as Moses and the burning bush. This is where Moses was called by God to liberate his people from slavery in Egypt and instructed Moses to present different proofs of God's existence and power to persuade the Pharaoh. Adjacent to the nameless is a wall installation titled Screen. The screen is a modular silk screen system that borrows the image of the television static. It is said that a small percentage of the TV static emitted from our televisions comes directly from the heart of the Big Bang or the prevailing theory of the origin of the universe. The silk screen is printed onto the wall repeatedly and crudely, following the CMYK system, engulfing one whole wall of the gallery space. Mirage Avatar is a single channel video mounted within the screen. The images of a hand that reflects a computer simulation of the route of one of the biggest and most ambitious economic and infrastructural projects of today's times. It's called the Belt and Road Initiative, the flagship project of the People's Republic of China. Built to connect supply lines and trade routes, this project has garnered criticisms for its speculated geopolitical agenda. The video reflected on the subject is mapped and rendered via Google Earth and shows all the countries and cities that have participated in the project so far. I've mapped it in to try and connect the chain of countries and cities next to each other like how one would connect dots on a map. Iterations is a continuation of a series of works influenced by CAPTCHA tests seen on the internet. Recent CAPTCHA tests are speculated to train artificial intelligence in identifying images, meaning every test we complete to prove we are human is collected and used to nurture this program's knowledge and intelligence. My works attempt to do the same thing to us to feed us with images until, until it becomes our knowledge and ultimately the truth.
serpent. Words from the serpent is an audio recording of spoken words. The words are taken from another work I produced before this exhibition. The serpent is a computer program that detects and transcribes spoken words through an audio capturing hardware or a microphone in this case. The program utilizes the internet and massive open source libraries to transcribe words as they are recorded as data in digital spreadsheets. The data is then recited as if it were a poem and with the lips near a microphone and in a whispering manner which gives the listener a gentle brain stimulus. So most of the materials and tools I used for this exhibition were bought, communicated, or transacted through the internet. Somehow I was fortunate enough to be working with commonly found items and objects and especially in electronics, the market was already abundant with different options. Despite the pandemic and the logistical limitations it brought, I managed to somehow push through with my plans for the exhibition. The words God, man, and technology has further been blurred through advancements in economic systems, communications, travel, even in medicine. And I attempt to deconstruct how the prevailing state of capitalism and its delusion of being limitless has somehow made this intersection something we all must talk and think about. And for me, this is an important question we all must ask. If we are truly the gods we all try to become, then who serves us? And if there is truly a god, then what has it become today?